hello guys how you doing many of you guys ask me why your control is not detecting in games why your control is not connected to your pc and not showing in your devices or working properly so today i'm gonna answer all these questions and fix the issues with your controller while it connecting to your pc so let's jump into the fix number one so before you connect to your controller to your pc through usb or bluetooth you go into your device manager then you connect your usb cable or bluetooth to your controller so i'm gonna connect my controller through a usb cable so when i connect my controller to usb cable you guys will see there's a, a tab opening with other devices and whatever the name of your controller many of the controllers are just plug and play and work without any errors any of you guys have something like the uh, controller is not detecting or not working properly in games is this is the issue that causing it because windows is not detecting your controller properly this is the issue that's happening with the most of the controllers that's not like working properly with the pc you guys can see this error mark and question mark on this other devices tab and the error mark in front of your controller name so the cause of this issue is like not pc not detecting your controller properly is the issue with the drivers of the controller to fix this issue and make the windows detect your controller properly and working properly first you click right on your controller name and go to update driver first you can click search automatically for drivers this will like windows search drivers online this will like not give you good result first you click it and see if the windows will detect any drivers for your device so most of the times windows will give this error telling windows so it's unable to install your controller so in that case go back and go to browse my computer for drivers so this is the best way to fix your control issues and controller not detecting in your pc click on browse my computer for drivers then click let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer these are the drivers that are installed on your windows system from default but unable to pick the right driver for your controller so click on this there you guys will see so many drivers for different devices and accessories so go down in here you guys will see xbox 360 peripherals click on that and click next so when you click next it's gonna open this tab in here you guys will see three of the drivers for xbox 360 controller and peripherals so this doesn't matter either you using a xbox controller ps controller or any other brand of controller even if it says xbox 360 controller drivers it's not gonna matter either you use a xbox controller or a ps or any other uh, different brand of controller for that case i'm also using a onyx wireless controller it's not xbox or playstation controller so you guys will see this is going to fix the any issue with any brand of controller you have so from that list you have to choose the xbox 360 controller for windows this driver not these two but this driver xbox 360 controller for windows you click on that and you click next it will tell something like update driver warning installing this device driver is not recommended because windows Windows cannot certify that is compatible with your hardware this doesn't matter don't like get afraid of this or anything this will not gonna do anything to your system or anything so click yes it's gonna install and it will tell windows has successfully updated to your driver windows has finished installing the driver for this device and it will show that driver is successfully installed so close it and here now you guys can see our controller is detected from the windows so the error we got earlier from here is not gonna visible now it's fixed now now your controller is uh, detected from the windows and now it's gonna probably working fine without any issues so this is the best fix you guys can do to make your controller work properly in your pc and detected to your pc without any errors and working fine with games so this is the best fix i can recommend you guys to do to make your controller work fine without any issues on windows so the next fix you you guys can do to make your usb controller working properly is by changing your usb ports power configuration settings to that go to your device manager and expand universal serial bus controllers in here you guys will see if you use the ports naming usb root hub usb 3.0 like this i have two you guys maybe have three or four maybe less so you have to do is click on each one of these ports named usb root hub and click right on them go to properties go to power management and untick allow the computer to turn off this device to save power untick this and press ok do that to all the ports that are named as usb root hub usb 3.0 do that to all the ports and press ok this will turn off windows accidentally cut off power to your usb ports and making your game controller not working properly for the next fix you go to your power management type power go to power and sleep settings 
and go to additional power settings and make sure to always keep it on high performance for better gaming performance and overall good performance and go to change plan settings and go to change advanced power settings and in this window go down to usb settings and expand it and here you will see usb selective suspend settings and click on it and expand it in this settings disable this disable and apply this will give the best performance power to power up your controller or accidentally turning off your controller from windows so the last fix i'm going to show you now is especially for the anyone who's using dualshock 4 controllers only but if you guys have any other controllers that are not working from the previous method we tried you guys can do this fix also if the previous method fixed your controller issue without any error so you don't have to do this fix at all first you go into your internet browser web browser and type ds4 windows and from this site you go to ds4 windows and download this software for your pc just download new version download when you downloaded that software you will see a zip file when it downloaded you extract it start to ds4 windows and you get the software you open it here you will see ds4 windows and run this application then most of the times you guys will also get this message you must install or update your .NET to run this application so download it now it will redirect you to microsoft site for download your .NET 8.0 to your windows so don't worry it's the official microsoft site so without any fear you guys can download the direct link this it will start to download so when dotnet downloaded you guys will see a setup file like this windows desktop runtime 8.00 so run it detail microsoft windows desktop runtime 8.00 this will install the dotnet for your pc installing dotnet is good for your pc for any kind of situation even for in games this is something always useful thing to install to your pc so when it done installation it will say installation was successful close it and now you run your ds4 software so when you run ds4 windows for first time you guys will see pick a where you want your profile and settings to be saved so i recommend you to choose the program folder then it will open this menu where you guys can see many types of controllers list on this here you use select ds4 device support this will work with many controller types without any issues that support for unknown dual shock for controller so most of the controllers that are going to be unknown are in this category so you guys can see any of these on this list if you guys using any of these controllers so press close and it will run the ds4 windows and then it will open the menu like this from here you guys have to install this first it says step one install vgame bus driver it will downloading and will install to your pc it's a driver for your controllers you click next and i agree press next and install finish and these two are like optional you don't have to install any of these click finished so now you guys successfully installed the ds4 windows to your pc so if you guys do the previous steps correctly you guys will come to this menu and if you guys have a dualshock 4 controller it will show up in here and when you press start it will install your dualshock 4 controller to your pc without any errors and the games will detect your dualshock 4 controller after the installation because i don't have a dualshock 4 controller for my pc uh, i can't really show you guys how the installation happened but if you press the start button it's gonna automatically install your controller for your pc so that's how you install the ds4 windows software for pc because a lot of you guys asked me from the earlier video how to install the ds4 software correctly and use so this is the way to install it and make your dualshock 4 controller working proper without any issues on your pc so these are the best methods to fix your controller not working properly on your pc or not connecting to your pc and working on games properly so i'm hoping these fixes are helped you guys to connect your controller to your pc without any issues and using your controller on your games in your pc without any issues so like and comment down below what are the fixes you guys want to see in our channel regarding to video games and pc gaming in general so be sure to like and subscribe and have a great day